Bo, uh, as we know, uh, has been working very closely with Comsoft. Yeah. Uh, and we've uh, got a great partnership. Uh, we, we've been able to help Comsoft get into robotics or, or to certainly to enhance what they're doing in robotics. Yep. So, Simon, it'd be great if you could tell us a bit more about how the Bo platform has worked for Comsoft. So, yes. So when we looked at the Bo software, it allowed us to easily get involved with robotics and focus on the outcomes of what we wanted the robots to do instead of getting stuck with all the maths and stuff. So we were able to take the Bo platform, take one of the robots we have and go, right, we want to work out how to pick this thing up. And um, Bo just simplified everything. What we can do with Bo is allow the developer to think more about the cognition side. Mm -hmm. So the the actual application, the useful part, yes. and not worry so much about the, the, the low level control of the robot, the low level communication. Yeah. He talks about inverse kinematics, anti-collision avoidance, um, motion planning, all those things are built in to Bo uh, Bose SDK. So we do the really hard bits in robotics so a developer doesn't have to. And, and I think what I think is really exciting is as the MD and, you know, the guy watching how long things are taking, how risky a project's going to be, how much it might cost. Um, those sorts of things you've described about the low level stuff are kind of terrifying. And what I'm seeing when I talk to people uh, who are considering adopting robotics or, or 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 working out how robotics might work in their in their in their factories is there's kind of this fear of the complexity and i think what is really wonderful about bo is the the uh, the amount it de-risks a lot of what we're trying to do and we can focus on as you say the logic part um and i think it's it's really interesting because the other thing is is as i understand it we can take we can implement robot A, it could be a quadruped or, or an arm or, or a humanoid. We can implement that and if and, and we can simulate it and we can make sure it's going to work. But if, it, if if we do have issues in the real world, we can just swap it out, right? And and put in another type of robot and, and Bo basically supports that. We don't have to do a load of recoding. Is that, is that correct? Yes, yeah, so you're not locked into a particular vendor of robot. You can literally go, well, this arm wasn't durable enough for the problem that we're trying to solve. Let's try this other arm. Mm. And and the Bo software will just handle the differences between the arms. Yeah, I mean, in fact, it's true that even in, with the same manufacturer, different models of a, of a robot arm, they might look very similar, but they have actually completely different SDKs or ways of working, obviously different geometries. Yeah, totally. uh, and, and all of those things require uh, re-engineering. But if you're if you're abstracting that away and let, letting the likes of Bo control that side of it, then you don't have to worry about that and you don't have to incorporate that into your code base. What's your... What's your take on the support and the level of customer service from Bo? Oh, first class. Um, as soon as I got a problem, you know, we 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 have a meet, you know, quick call about it. We go through the drivers. You know, at one point, you were dialing into my my computer to work out what the problem was because, you know, we're cutting edge. We're trying out the latest mm. stuff. You know, so so there's always going to be teething issues. It's not the robot arm we thought it was, or whatever it might be. But yeah, there's never been oh. You know, I haven't heard from you for a week. It's like, oh, this is fixed in an hour, kind of job. <laughs> you, you can't, you can't ask for more, really. And I think a really brilliant case study off the back of that was the recent show that we partnered on yeah. uh, at the MTC, uh, where we brought a, a, a six degree arm. Um, the way we were doing some digital twinning using Apple Vision Pro to show uh, control a robot and have a digital twin as well as the the, the, the real version. And the arm that we provided. Um, kind of <laughs> one of the servos failed on it and it was a great uh following next morning i remember you were in early we'd got another arm a uh, totally different brand totally different look plugged it in and i and I, and this was to me kind of sitting there on the day of the show was a really important moment of right well this is when we see if bo actually can step up and does what it does what it says on the tin and you swapped over and i was amazed because i i was convinced you were gonna have to do some code changes right. and it was just working within half an hour of mm physically unscrewing it and plugging it in. Didn't so even have to it reboot the server. It just, <laughs> it just kind of worked. That's amazing. It was good.